it's Shannon. I just want to share a quick recipe with you. It's my P2 friendly shrimp scampi. Um, what I'm doing is heating my my skillet. No oil in it whatsoever. Nudist, no oil. Um, heating it on medium high. I've already measured my shrimp. 100 grams. And I've cut my tomatoes. This is my one vegetable. I'm not mixing vegetables, although shrimp scampi does call for onion, and I love onion in the scampi. Uh, it, the you know essential ingredient is tomato <laughs> and garlic, by the way. So I'm going to be uh, uh, do, using the tomato, the shrimp, and then to make up for the onion, I'm going to use um, onion powder, a lot of onion powder. And I actually, in this, I put some onion salt in and I kind of mixed it up so there's both onion salt and onion powder in there. I'm using my Cajun spice. Um, I'm going to be putting on my shrimp. Cajun spicy. And uh, using the garlic and the onion. Actually, I'm going to use chopped garlic that I got in a jar. And while this is heating up, I'm going to get my garlic. Notice I got a big wampum thing of garlic. Mix that in with my shrimp. And now that the skillet's hot, I'm going to go ahead and fry up my, or saute up my tomatoes just until they're kind of smashy. So I'll put a little bit more garlic in with those too. Garlic really enhances the flavor of scampi. A little bit of sea salt. A lot of cracked pepper. I use rainbow peppercorns green, red, and black in my uh, pepper mill. I like pepper. Did you guys know that pepper is an aphrodisiac? It is. Look it up. And here's my onion taste. I'm going to saturate these tomatoes. Now we're cooking. Do you see they're not completely mushy? Um, they still have a little bit of shape to them, and yet there's enough uh, liquid that will help to cook the shrimp. Now I'm adding my shrimp. And you saute the shrimp just until they're pink, until all that clear color is gone just so that they're still bursting. We've always said that a good shrimp, when you put it in your mouth and bite into it and there's bursting, that's perfectly uh, cooked. Anything after that, it gets a little rubbery. Don't like that. By the way, I was down, I released a pound today, and I think I figured it out. It was not the MCT oil, like some people thought, you know, cut out the Choco D. Um, and it might not have even been the beef. I think it was that I was a little stopped up, if you know what I mean. Because I had miracle noodles. I had done some research and found out that, uh, you know, miracle noodles are zero carbs and um, zero fat, zero pretty much everything. It's just a fiber called glucomannan. And uh, it helps to kind of move things along in the intestinal area. Plus that, yeah, I mean, Miracle Noodles are all awesome, and I love noodles, so I went ahead and tried it yesterday on the um, P2, and uh, lo and behold, it worked like a charm, and I released a pound. So that may have been why I was up on the scale, because I hadn't been um, eliminating, if you know what I mean. Um, so I am going to try beef again next week, and we'll see how I do on the scale, and I'll know for sure what the, the problem was. Um, I didn't cut out the uh, Choco D yesterday. I still had some, I shaved some on top of my strawberries for dessert last night and uh, still had release today. So I don't think that it's MCT oil, like some people were suggesting. Okay, we're done. Quick, quick lunch. Now I'm going to
but I'll go ahead and show it to you. See, isn't that nice? Yum, yum.